Hi and welcome everybody to this brief tutorial on using the R exams package for creating online tests or online quizzes in the learning management system Moodle. The starting point um, is here in R. I have already started my R in my working directory. I have already created a couple of exercises. All of these are provided within the exams package. And then I have a short script here that proceeds by first loading the exams package. Then we define a vector of exercises. In this case, we have seven exercises ranging from simple knowledge quiz questions over questions with mathematical content to more complex um, items that I will show you later on when we are in Moodle. So to create the online test within um, our exams, we first set a random seed to be reproducible and then we use the exams to Moodle function using the vector of uh, exercises that we have defined before. Here I generate three random replications per exercise and I call the resulting file our exams. In principle I could also customize more options but this will do we can also customize more options within Moodle so I'm starting this and then R draws uh, the random replications from the exercises converts uh, the exercises to HTML and embeds this into an XML file that we see down here our exams.xml which is ready for the import into Moodle so then we switch over to the browser. I'm already logged into my Moodle system and I'm selecting the course in which I want to add the questions from the quiz and um, later on the quiz. And first we need to import the question bank. This is what the jargon in Moodle is. So we get uh, to the settings here and then select more settings and this takes us to the course administration and at the bottom of the course administration we can customize our question bank. And here I want to import new questions. Then I need to select the format in which the question comes. Our exams produces Moodle XML and then we can choose a file and then we can browse on my computer and here I'm in the right directory choosing the rexams.xml file and I upload this file into Moodle and then I import the entire thing and uh, this results in 21 questions because we had seven exercises originally and three replications each and if we scroll down we can say we want to continue and now we are inside our question bank and we would be able to preview all the exercises. We can also look at the structure we have created. So there's a new section we've created here called our exams and within each section I have created exercises uh, one to seven each with three replications. This is the setup I usually uh, use. So there's a new section for each quiz I want to import with individual random replications for this quiz. But it would also be possible to think about exams to Moodle helping you to maintain your question bank. So you can also specify the sections and subsections um, each exercise should go into in the meta information of the exercises so that you can um, have a catalog of topics within a certain course for example and then you just put the exercises into the structure for this existing course. Okay then we're done with the question bank and I'm returning to my uh, course and uh, to embed now a quiz into the course with these um, exercises we have just imported we turn the editing for the course on and then we uh, add a new topic here. This is my R exams course I'm using for demos and I'm using a new section here and I'm adding the topic 
and uh, I can edit that. Let's say this is my YouTube demo. And then within this section, I can add an activity or a resource. And here we want to add a quiz. This takes a moment and we can say we call this an online test and this is the only mandatory information we need and then we can save it and return to the course and here we see that our online test is ready to be filled and then I can um, go to the uh, online test I go here to the online test click into it say I want to edit the quiz and then we can add questions within the quiz we can select whether we just want to add a new question add a question from the question bank or a random question and this is what we need here because we want to add a random question for these three. And then the first exercise within our online test will be drawing one random exercise from the three random exercises we have imported into the question bank. And then the tedious bit is that we need to do this for um, every single exercise. So if you want to customize um, the entire quiz on the R side before calling um, exams to Moodle, um, this is not so convenient. Um, it's not possible to the best of my knowledge. On the other hand, um, if you use Moodle to maintain your entire question bank and you um, add questions to it rather than adding questions just for a single test, um, this is of course more convenient. So let me proceed through this. Exercise four. And three more to go. Then we need exercise five. And here briefly you see how these are numbered. So this is the default numbering scheme that R uses. It uses um, as the label for each question um, an indicator for the random replication, an indicator for the question number, and then uh, finally the uh, name that was specified in the meta information of the individual exercise source files in the exercise templates. Okay, the last random question to be included for our little demo. And here we are. Okay. And then we can save this, go back to our course, the our exams course, and then we can switch editing off again. And here we are. So our YouTube demo now has an online test. And if I click on that, I can attempt the quiz now. And um, then we can have a look at the exercises we have included here. So the first question is a simple knowledge quiz question here, um, the seat of the federal authorities in Switzerland, uh, which is Basel, no, sorry, it's Bern, of course. And then we go to the next page. And then we have some mathematical content included here and it is automatically displayed nicely by the MathJax plugin loaded by Moodle. And here I'm not doing this exercise, 
I'm just guessing 1.23. Then next we have a question with um, our output here. We see the output from a t-test and um, we can quickly go through it. Yes, one sided test uh, was tested. The p-value is larger than 5%. And let's move to the next page. Then you can see you can embed images if you want to here comparing to box plots. And both distributions contain no outliers. Uh, the spread is similar, the schooners is similar, and um, both distributions are approximately symmetric. Then we have um, a string question where the answer is some text that we have to enter exactly and the R function for running least squares regression is LM. And then we get to the more complex exercises. Here we have an exercise where a CSV dataset is embedded that is randomly generated within the exercise. So I can download that and analyze it in R or any other statistical package. And then I should answer two questions. One single choice question here, I'm guessing um, that y increases significantly with x and the slope is, let's say, 0.8. And um, then we have another question that shows that we can also have more complex arrangements of fields where we can enter numbers, a fourfold table where I can now enter percentages um, in this way and um, let's see let's these add up correctly 50% 50% and 100% and now we finish our attempt we could um, return to the attempt and modify the answers or we can finish it here I'm doing the letter and then um, we get to the evaluation of our um, quiz so let's see this takes a second ah, submit all and finish maybe yes okay and here we get uh, the summary and we we can see that uh, we have so solved some exercises completely correctly, some completely wrong, and some at least partially correct. This is the evaluation mode that's enabled by default. You can um, uh, also disallow partial, partially correct answers. And for each question, I get now the solution feedback that was contained within the exercises. So we can see that uh, the individual customized solutions contained within the exercise templates is provided nicely within Moodle here. And we can also see that uh, these results can contain um, uh, graphics or our output and so on. Okay, I hope I've given you um, a brief overview and uh, that's it. I hope um, you find this useful for creating your own online tests or online quizzes in Moodle.